I would say his car, like he had a really bad car and he kept it in his garage like for years now. He have it like since, I don't know, years and he don't want to buy a new one. So I, I would say his car. Uh, I think I cannot live without his dog. Uh, but he seems to request his dog. Um, he talks about him a lot. So yeah, I would say his dog. Definitely his glasses. Either, either his dog, or hmm, I'm I'm just gonna say his dog or his girlfriend right now. I think that body uh, would not be able to live without his girlfriend. Um, so I think that he could not live without his TV shows. He's always at night in the morning. He's always watching different TV shows talking about them and then when there is one TV show that everybody watches in the team, he just never watches it just to piss everybody off. Like he just always late, always a season late or something like this, so we can never talk about it within the team, which is pretty dumb annoying. Um, I think it's, it's dark. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. It's dark, let's go. I have many. I wouldn't live without my doggy. Spirit animal. It will be easier for for Alex, uh, but for Nathan, I don't know. <laughs> An elephant. <laughs> uh, this one is easy. I think everybody pick lion. He will pick lion as well. The lion king, you know. But more exotic one. Yeah, I would say gorilla. Korea, yeah. it's pretty good. Uh, Nathan, Nathan could be a, a bear, I think. He would be a lonely animal, pretty scary, uh, pretty badass. He would be like a, a wolf or something, or a snake. Yeah, a snake, a snake. <laughs> <laughs> he, he would probably kill me. <laughs> A rat. A rat. I think because he's sneaky, you know. Um, uh, Nathan's spirit animal would be the wolf, I guess. Um, I know he has a wolf tattooed on his arm, and I know why he tattooed that wolf. So yeah, I would say he's a wolf. Um, I'd go for the lion. I'd say he's a lion because he likes lions, and yeah. Um, I'd say that my spirit animal would be a wolf um, because of the fine balance in everything in the sense that uh, a wolf is both lonely and in a pack, a wolf is um, both looking for a survival but also the ones of the one nearby. And, uh, and, and that kind of yeah, balance in a lot of things uh, that uh, wolves tend to have. In general, Dan uses money like in a good way, no? So I think like he would he would like to buy like some apartments, like to be sure that is good for the rest of his life. He'd buy a pretty big house, um, then he'd buy some clothes, probably. Then he'd buy some extra dogs, maybe. A few of them extra. Uh, he would spend it in... <clears throat> in... an amazing and big house, I'd say. Yeah, he like big houses. I think he's done... If Dan would have a million dollars, he would try to invest as much as possible, buying a lot of apartments and houses. I think I will go pretty basic, but he will go with a big house for him and his dogs. First of all, I don't know if he will ever reach one million dollars because he spent everything, but he will buy something 
complete, completely extravagant, like a yacht or something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but something. Yeah, it, it will invest in some in some stuff. He will probably get a a big house for himself, and he might also get some little things on the side, some some nice underwear for him, some. <laughs> Some thongs as well included, obviously, and uh, maybe maybe even a car. A million. Ah. It depends. If it's my first million, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy something to have more money, like I don't know, apartments and rent it. But yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, something like I uh, I will have more money. It's like a good beginning, but at the end, I'm not gonna spend everything. I'm gonna buy many things and then rent it or I don't know, things like that. And if it's not the first million? If it's not the first million, I'm gonna buy a, a really big house for my family. Like, uh, yeah, 20 rooms. Like that in a small village in France, it's, it's pretty cheap, so yeah. A million will be uh, like a really big house in France in a small village. He would be... <laughs> he would be Einstein. He, he's so fucking smart. Like, wow. Really, really smart. Uh, he will probably... Uh, he will probably be someone uh, with a lot of directive and orders and like a dictator man. I'm gonna go some, for something like Einstein because he's really smart to me. Uh, so yeah, I would, just say, I would just say Einstein, but I had something else in mind, but of course I can say it. Yeah, I guess he could be Caesar because he is organized. He try, try, tries to do things the way he thinks everything is right and then he's gonna be backstabbed by someone. <laughs> um, who can I say? Um, let me think a bit. Michael Jackson. Yeah, Michael Jackson is a good one. I don't know why, but they both skinny. He wants to change his uh, skin color as well. He's moving like a Jagger. So I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> Michael Jackson. Uh, Niklas would be an uh, NBA player, I think, because he, he likes the US a lot and it, he will be able to, to go to Taco Bell uh, every day. So, uh, NBA player, uh, for sure. Uh, I would say Michael Jordan. Uh, as a German, he's pretty strict. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because like the people, like the guys, sometimes we, when we play games, because I'm the German, you know, I'm obviously like sometimes the Nazi, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go with uh, with Donald Trump. <laughs> hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, you want more, subscribe.